don't want them to find my body someday under a pile of New Yorker magazines and cat hair and takeout containers. The description for most of the rom-com roles that I go out for are um, best friend, <laughs> real supportive, real looking body, um, <laughs> you know, um, real sassy, ain't afraid to tell it like it is. Um, those are usually, my favorite is tired mom. And I was always going out for a tired mom before I had kids. I'm just like, what is that? And then I'm just like, ah, I've been, I've been auditioning for the role of a lifetime. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those are, I'm, I'm always like the best friend, which I don't mind. Like I loved, um, a lot of the best friends in, um, the sitcoms I grew up watching. Um, six on Blossom. Mm -hmm. Um, What's the face of Full House? Whoops. Um, <laughs> was it Boner on, um, who knows? That's what IMDb is for. We don't have to think anymore. Um, if I had to think of, was the first question my favorite rom-coms? Yeah. That is so crazy. That's like asking me what my favorite child is or my favorite Prince song. It's like, you cannot. First of all, anything Nancy Myers related, mm -hmm. Diane Keaton, gonna give it to me now. I want a ribbed <laughs> white turtleneck and some white pants. I think about my feelings on a beach and crying <laughs> to a typewriter. Love and basketball. Wow. Um, yeah, black love is is all the things. And Nia Long was like basically our black Julia Roberts, like. <laughs> Coco skin. I could. I just want to. The first time I met Nia Long, I was like, "Can I just take your face off like Nutella and rub it on bread and eat it?" And she was <laughs> like, "So nice to meet you." I was like, "I'm gonna go now." Also, J Lo is dipping and doing it in the rom com world. You know, what was your favorite part of working with J Lo on Marry Me? The hardest part for me was a not staring. Yeah. And b not letting her know that I know everything about her. Right. She's like, did you get sleep last night? I said, no, I have twins. She said, I have twins too. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's an awesome leading lady because she's so pretty, so disarming, so charming, so smart, so, you know, kooky for someone that pretty in a crop top. I'm just like, who are you? Wedding planner. Yeah. The wedding planner was so good. Cause it's like, yeah. It's also one of those things where, like, you're like, oh, it's kind of shitty that he, like, wants to leave his wife for this wedding planner, but I'm for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? And that's, but that's a real thing, too. Like, people just go through the motions, and they're like, I'm supposed to marry this person because I've been with them forever, and we look really good on paper. Mm -hmm. And then when you get down to it, <laughs> that's my favorite. My favorite rom-com is, like, when people are just phoning it in and then they meet somebody that they never thought they would actually like. And they're like, what is life? It's like, it's gotta get drunk and open your legs sometimes. These past three weeks getting to know you have been amazing and it's something that I, oh. You're making me nervous. I'm homeless. I'm sorry, what now? I've always been a fan of Mike Doyle. Mm -hmm. I feel like he he's like the all American best friend that you could ever want um, on and off screen. So when I finally got to meet him and he told me that he wrote this, this script and, you know, he's got this idea of these friends in this movie and the way he described it, it sort of sounded like the way friends should have been. Like, you know, a handful of friends from all walks of life in New York City just dipping and doing it and trying to figure out their life. It's, um, really fun especially working on this project because we've all lived through that moment in time where we're like you know it's a coming of age entering adulthood don't be stuck in arrested development what you're gonna do you know should i get off the pot situation you know we all have those friends you know growing up in our 20s and 30s where it's like am i having the same conversation with you for like two years like just do something are you going to stay in this relationship or not? Are you going to get the job you want or not? And so I think that's why this script spoke to all of us because we've all either been on that friend or on the other side. And so, yeah, this is what New York is. It's, 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 a, it's diverse. It's, um, you know, it's gay. It's um, it, 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 she broke he rich you know <laughs> it's it's all those things wrapped wrapped up into like i don't know a sushi roll yeah there's like the guy with like a blog that got a bunch of weird hype all of a sudden for no reason i know augustus prue and he's he's so great because he's british but you would never know
because he's so good at an American accent. It's scary. I'm like, Dexter, stop. <laughs> and um, yeah, him and, and Scott had like so much chemistry. There aren't many projects that you do where you're like, oh, I would actually be friends with these people. But after working with everybody, we have a text chain. We still talk to each other. Uh, we hang out. There's dinners that have happened at Kate Walsh's house, at nice. my house. Um, yeah, we support each other with our shows and plays. Um, you know, I just taped my Netflix special um, before all this kind of went down. And um, uh, Colin Donnell and Mike Doyle showed up, you know, to my special. So does Zoe Chow. Like, everyone could not be more supportive i mean i know kate's even taking girls trips with a couple of the producers and um um uh the girl that did wardrobe it's like we are an actual family filming this movie within weeks it's pretty insane we wrap this up to go um sure 